All right, folks, uh, Cam Hawkins here from the Trading Up podcast. I've just finished a fantastic interview with Tim Walker from uh, timwalker.net.au. Tim's a gun trader, and we went well into detail about gun. Uh, Go and jump over to the Trading Up podcast. There's a link under the video if you're on YouTube. Uh, We went on for about an hour, I think, Tim, and it was fantastic and fascinating stuff. So we're going to now have a look at one of your price charts and you're going to walk us through a recent trading opportunity based on on some of the things that you um, know and do. Okay. Well, what I've got up in front of me here to start with before we go to the actual trading is is a monthly chart of the Australian Share Price Index futures contract. And over, I haven't marked any of the turns here, but over on the far left of the chart, is the old high from 2007, uh, goes down to the bottom in March of 2009, and then the bull market that's come over the past 10 years. And we had a top late in July. Actually, uh, is your mouse is your mouse working on the screen? I can't see the mouse uh, moving. Yes. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, yep. All right, I'll, I'll indicate them. So here, here in July, was uh, a little top that we had, and the market made a very sharp correction in early August, and many people would have been watching at this time for the market to come back and make a double top back over here in 2007. That high price in 2007 was 6897, but the market only got to 6813, so it fell about 84 points short of a double top, which uh, could easily have confused people if they'd been waiting for a double top to come. But what I've drawn on this chart here is a little technique of GANs, which is a his version of a trend line. But rather than it being like a normal trend line where, say, we join two lows together and then continue it on out, his trend lines were fixed and they moved at a fixed rate, which means that you could set them on your chart as soon as you know that you've got a high or a low in place. So this line's been on the chart since about a couple of months after the low in 2009. And the market's gone around it, it's bounced off it a couple of times, but it came up here and it hit it almost spot on to the point Mm. uh, in late July. Now, I'm not trying to be smart with that and saying, oh yeah, okay, we uh, we jump in now and, and we go short immediately. But what this does, it gives me a signal that I can then go back to my daily chart, which I'll just swap over to here. Here's that same top, was the 30th of July. And... I'm looking to trade the swing chart, so I've drawn a swing chart over the top of this. So the market came down, it made a little rally on this outside day, which made a lower swing top, which then gave me an entry signal, and the entry signal was actually back under the low here where this swing is. So that got me in short to be in that move down, then there's another rally, then another lower swing top, for another trade down into the low. Then this low made a double bottom with another low back in June here that you can see there was only one point difference between them. Now, here's an example of how uh, GAN mathematics works out for people. If we go back, sorry if I scroll along this chart a bit, if we go back to the last time we had one of these little collapses, which was back in early 2018, people might remember it, there was one back in here, there was a top early in January, Yep. and it went down to a low in February, and I actually have a little tool on here where I can measure that range of that decline, and then I just apply it to the current one, and... Let me take out all the extra noise in here so that you can just see the essence of it. That low was 63.04, which was an exact repeat to the point of the decline in January, February 2018. So that's the sort of stuff that Gann's on about. Mm. And when I saw that, now... If you're an intraday trader, of course, you've got a, you've got a potential double bottom there, uh, or even trading on a daily chart. What I actually did was go long above the high of the daily bar because that's easier. 
But if you're an intraday trader, you could have gone down into your intraday charts and got an even tighter entry. But there was a long trade for a long trade off the low. And then the market came down, it fuzzed around a bit here. You needed a little bit of skill to navigate through here, but it could be done. And then it came down and here's one of our more traditional technical analysis patterns, not a GAN one, but simply head and shoulders bottom, Yep. Uh, which also effectively made a signal that GAN really liked, which was a higher bottom after a double bottom. So there was another signal to get long. There was another signal to get long again. And I've just drawn in half of today's bar, uh, which is currently trading. And uh, I'm in long on this, on this next trade here as well. So on a simple system, see, I don't have to be smart and call the top there. Just go short at the lower top. Sure, actually, there was a little long trade in here, but it wasn't a swing trade. There's another lower top. You can get long on the double bottom at the low, long again at the higher bottom. You had to be careful in here, but it, it, it could be managed because uh, if you went short again here, as you would, because there's a lower top and a lower bottom, then uh, you could, sorry, I'll just pull that up. Um, you, could, you could actually have held on, held on through here, and there was actually a profit there, and I took the profit round about, I think, round about that point. Um, Sorry, people keep wanting to message me. Uh, <laughs> can't escape it in the modern world. Um, and uh, so, you know, there's another long, there's another long, and there's another long. And who knows how the current long will go? You know, you just keep taking all the signals and sooner or later, one of them probably gets stopped out, but it may get stopped out for a loss or it may get stopped out for a break even. But there's been a fair bit of profit in there over, over the month of August and nothing scary in it at all, really. Yeah, quite yeah. Quite often what you might, you might read in the news, you know. In fact, big moves like that are great fun for traders because you hit your profit targets really quickly. <laughs> Well, look, um, thank you very much for coming on the show, Tim. It's been fantastic. Uh, I know the guys are not only going to learn a lot from what you've just shown us now, but if you guys jump over to the link underneath the video, you'll see or you'll be able to hear the, the interview I did with uh, Tim. We went over pretty much everything, and there's some great nuggets in there as well. So, look, thanks again, and uh, hopefully you have a oh, – actually, before we finish up, what's the best way for the guys to get hold of you? Uh, if you go to my website, it's www.timwalker.net.au. And there's a contact link there. You can send me an email. I'm, I'm happy to correspond with, with listeners if they'd like to chat about the markets or anything. Brilliant. Okay. Thank you very much, Tim. Thanks very much, Cam. It was a pleasure. Brilliant.